Okay, white balance. This is a hard topic. It's not straight. Am I ready for this? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're asking. Well, this one for my really good friend, Lorani Dalaji. And this one for you. Cheers. It's really good to see you again. And it's really good to do something with the camera again. Because cause last time I touched my camera, I mean, last time when I uploaded something, I, I looked like this. And <laughs> I'm a lot brighter since then. <laughs> Intro. You know, three years ago I started vlogging because of two reasons. Because my family and a lot of my friends, they live in Europe. And I thought it's gonna be a really good idea to upload videos weekly and they can just watch it whenever. And the second reason is that photography and videography were two hobbies, two two potential hobbies that I always thought that I can be good at. And you know, as some influencers are promoting it, if you can figure out how to do profit with your hobby, then you will never work again because you will just enjoy, enjoy the hustle. And because I was attacked out a lot of times, yes, I like to create. I like to draw, I like to write songs, I like to take pictures and of course I like videography, I like to take videos. I used to do all of this, but when I started my YouTube channel, I had to give up everything because there was no time to do my average 55 hour work and to record and edit. And except some ups and downs, I was pretty consistent. I tried to record some scripted vlogs that you cannot see anywhere else, and some tutorials, some behind the scene videos, and just basic videos that can probably help you. And with this I only wanted to get to the point where I can say, okay, now I can only work 40 hours and the rest of the income I can do it with my video work. Or or actually, I just want to, to be like, all right, it's gonna be hard, but I can quit now. Uh, I will upload a video, I will call it something like the dark side of being a YouTuber or something like that, but that profit, since I'm on YouTube, I had no money at all. I had some friends and some bots that were commenting on my videos, but after a while, my view count just dropped to 20. And I, I'm pretty sure even my mom stopped watching my channel. Like, mom, get your shit together. And I think this was the point when I became a hypocrite. And I kept promoting this lifestyle like it was the best ever. All this lifestyle did to me is probably I just became more and more alcoholic. Talking about alcohol. But with all of these, I think I lied to you and most importantly, I lied to myself. And that was the point when I stopped creating. Actually, I didn't stop creating, I just stopped uploading. I was still creating, but nothing went out on the internet. I had to think if I want to continue what I started or if I need to completely reimagine my life as a creator. And I have no clue what I'm going to do. Like, I don't have a solution, but I know from now on, I will take this whole thing as a hobby and I will only record, edit and upload when I want to and not when an algorithm tells me that I need to. Is that making sense? Because I think I'm only doing this to become slightly happier. Is there anything wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with trying to be happier? Hmm? No? Then okay. Then See you soon. Ciao. <laughs>